and I didn't realize what this was at first. This is the lower beak, I believe, of a large Triceratops. There's definitely good stuff at this site. So we were walking over to the site and we decided to check out this little hill here with Lauren and Mikey and um, found some bones coming out, washing down the hill. So we came to check out the sandy layer and there are just fragments all along this whole outcrop. Um, and a lot of the bone is pretty weathered and has a lot of ironstone concretion on it. And some of it's pretty rounded too, which means it's been transported in this channel system for a really long ways. But um, I was digging right here and I didn't realize what this was at first. But now I'm starting to realize that this is the lower beak, I believe, of a large Triceratops. And it looks to be pretty complete. So there's definitely good stuff at this site as well. So I'm continuing to expose this beak and there is another bone right here next to it. So I think this kind of layer right on the top of the clay pebbles is really what has the decently preserved bones in it. So I'm still digging on this area with the Triceratops beak, which is just absolutely perfect, beautiful specimen. And I'm clearing around it and right out of the gravel, pop this little tooth. It's got a little bit of iron concretion on it, but that'll prep right off. I'm still working that same little spot with the Triceratops lower beak. And kind of at the same level, we got bone, bone, bone. And these ones look relatively incomplete. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Not sure what that is. So I'm gonna carefully try to expose the rest of this Triceratops beak and safely remove it. <sighs> Some ants in my face. That way I can keep digging without worrying about damaging it. So in order to move this safely, I'm gonna pedestal all around it and then cut the lower block off so I'm not disturbing the bone too much. Here's the beak, fully exposed. And I'm gonna go underneath it, make sure it's loose from all sides. There it is. So that would go in the bottom of the jaw and that's the front beak. And this is a, from a really big individual. So that is a really a spectacular fossil there. You can see the texture of the, the bone core of the beak there. And yeah, what a, what a cool, cool fossil.